Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video and it's been a while since I have made a video on this channel But we are coming back with a new video series and it's going to be about RGB I might even call it the quest for RGB or the quest of RGB either way So what you have in the box is the RGB controller. We have the SATA connection So yes, this is powered with SATA the two RGB strips and some velcros and some more cables And we're gonna be taking a look at all of it in just a bit so inside the box, you'll find the controller itself, which can control up to six PWM or DC fans, which is pretty impressive. And the reason I got this was primarily for the DC controls. It also comes with a temperature reader right here, as well as an addressable RGB controller. And yes, this is actually a standard connector, but it is addressable, so it has to be standard, which means you should be able to actually connect your own even longer, maybe more condensed RGB strips, which we will be testing out in a future video. I do have a bunch of RGB strips, and I pretty much ordered all the types of RGB strips there are, just so I can show you guys the difference between them and what you're looking for. So yeah, it can control PWM or DC, addressable RGB strip, temperature reader, and all that is being powered by a SATA connection as well as a USB controller, which means you have software on your windows to control everything comfortably, which is pretty exciting. And once again, it has two magnetic points on the back. We're gonna see how well these stick. So here are the RGB strips themselves. You get two of them and they're both addressable. They're not very condensed, but they are addressable, which is pretty impressive, especially for the price. Now, if you don't know what addressable RGB strips are, basically they're not the RGB strips that are gonna just have one color at a time but instead they're actually going to have multiple colors lit up all at the same time in sequence. So for example, you can have the rainbow effect going across the RGB strip itself. It's an animated effect, and this is essentially the good stuff that you're looking for that most modern motherboards don't even support, and it runs off a $30 Canadian controller, which is pretty awesome. Once again, it runs off a SATA connector, which is a blessing. That connects into this adapter right here, which goes into the controller on the side, just like so. So it is plenty of length to get around your case. It shouldn't be a problem. You can always expand it. Here is the thermal sensor, which looks like a transistor to me. You pop that right in there. Then you have the RGB strip connector right here, which is pretty long, which will help you route the RGB strips where you want them, which of course are daisy chained and it allows you to connect some more RGB strips. Once again, we'll try that in a future video. And finally, we have the USB connector. Now this may look weird for some of you, but uh, for some technicians will know what this is. Basically, this is a half a USB connector. And finally, the user manual, which actually is pretty straightforward and looks very nicely laid out. And on the back here, it's all in color and it exactly tells you what you need to know and it'll show you what the software looks like. And now all I to do is go ahead, hook it up and show you guys the results. Let's go. Hey, that was pretty simple and very responsive. Check this out. Full speed. No speed. Half speed. Auto temperature control, performance, balance, quiet. Probably not going to use that. And finally, RGB does work as well. This is pretty awesome. All right, I'm going to go ahead, clean this setup up, finish it off, and let's see how it's going to turn out when it's all put together. All right, so the build is complete and we have everything set in here, including the controller running six fans with the two RGB strips hooked up to it. This test couldn't have been better because everything here is most likely using all of this capability. Again, it is running off SATA, running you through the USB controller, and it has six fans connected to it through DC, manually set to the lowest possible settings. And here's another plane going by. But yeah, it looks absolutely fantastic. The addressable RGB strip does look very nice and it does complement that white fan very nicely. And that's partially why I chose this cooler right here. Now I could have went for something with RGB on its cooler, but white fans and LEDs for me is where I like to do it because it reflects everything and it gives it a very nice, calm, unique look. And I absolutely love it. So the software side of things, uh, the fan controllers work perfectly fine. It does work like intended. It gives you all the speeds that you need, absolutely working perfectly fine, no issues right there. 
and the fans do spin at the speed that they are set when you do it in Windows and when you turn on the computer they're going to turn on too at that set fan speed. Now the ambient temperature sensor that I have set right over there uh, it does work but it's just for the fan controllers it's nothing crazy it's not very accurate but if you want to use it you can make it work somehow because there is an automatic fan setting for regular mode performance and quiet mode. Now the RGB side of things for the software, it's not the best, it does work, there is no problems with it. It's just that it would have been nice if it had more controls. Or manual controls, should I say. But for $30, I really can't complain, and again, that is 30 Canadian dollars for this controller. And I have never seen such controller like this with these capabilities. Especially for an addressable RGB strip. Because these things are usually very expensive, and they almost don't exist until now. So with all that being said, the fans are now very quiet, here's a before and after. And uh, everything is working perfectly fine, as intended, as I have wished. And again, I thought this was too good to be true, but it works flawlessly. So with that said guys, this would be the first Commander approved product on this channel. It's pretty exciting because I have a whole lot of content coming up that have to do with PC parts and building and all that good stuff. So yeah, look forward for the next upcoming set of videos for RGB and computer building and all that goodness. And that is pretty much it for this video. So if you guys are interested, I'll leave a link for it in the description below. And yeah, stick around for more videos like these where we'll be doing more PC mods, building, RGB, more fun content like this one. So with that said, thank you all for watching. Hope you have enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, hit the like button and subscribe more like this and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care everyone.